my channel. My name is Summer and I've actually got a video that is not a haul today. So I'm finally filming the what I've been melting for December and I mean there's not a whole lot here because me and my family were very sick in December and we weren't home a lot because of the holidays. So um, I don't really have a whole whole lot but I wanted to go ahead and film it anyway and um to share with you what I've been melting. I'm hoping to film a melting basket for um, the first or second week of January whenever we're back in our like routine. Um, so I could pick out some like winter scents and of course some pistachio and some other things to share with you for a melting basket. So stay tuned for that video. And um, let's just get right into my empties first. So, in December, I actually tried Walmart Wax from Sensationals for the first time, and I melted Vanilla Pine, and um, I melted it, like, throughout my open concept, and it did pretty well. Um, this scent, it just was, like, your, your typical, just kind of, like, creamy Christmas tree scent, and I really liked it. It performed pretty well. I would say probably like a three out of five. Um, my open concept is pretty hard though because we have really tall ceilings and then it's like a super large space. So I've got a Scentsy Accord as well as a Happy Wax Warmer. And so I put them um, in all of those and it did pretty well. And you could definitely smell it when you walked into the room, but it didn't last super long, I'd say probably like six hours, four to six hours, and it was pretty pretty medium throw, so it's pretty good for a $2 wax. I mean, can't really complain. Okay, the next one I have one from Fantasy Wax. This is Piglet, which is pistachio, amaretto cream, and vanilla ganache. And this one, I mean, Fantasy Wax, I've never really had a dud. This was a four out of five on throw. And the scent is just, the scent's a five out of five for me. Like pistachio, amaretto, right up my alley with the vanilla ganache just kind of smooths it out a little bit. It was just a beautiful scent. I melted this in my office and it lasted for like a day and a half and then I just wanted to smell something different. So I switched it out, but if she ever offers that again, I will definitely jump on that. Um, next up I have pistachio pudding cake from Knoll's Farm and this is pistachio, honey, almond, vanilla custard, and pie crust. This I melted in my office as well. This is just a really good, um, I actually have another one in the, in the non-empties version right here that I'm melting through. And it's just so good. Pistachio pudding cake is one of my favorite scents. The scent throw was like a four out of five in my office and it, it melt, I melted it for like eight hours and it was still going strong and such a good scent. Love it. All right, next up we have uh, Melted Confetti and Almond. And I loved, this one was like so strong. I would say five out of five. This threw, and I mean, it was just like full of scent for, for a whole entire day. It was so, so good. I loved it so much. I was so sad when it was over. I do have a few backups of that, but I want to hang on to them for a bit. Um, loved every minute of the Almond from Melted Confetti. Okay, I have two from Rose Girls. The first one is Orange Sugar Cookie Dough. And this was probably a three out of five. Orange, like, isn't my favorite. I was just kind of trying it out. Melted into my open concept. And again, it's really hard to get, like, a super strong strength, super strong scent throw in there. Because it's a really large area. But this one did pretty well. Um, I melted it also in my kitchen while it was in my open concept. And it was... It was pretty good. I'd say a three out of five. And the scent wasn't my favorite, but I didn't hate it. But um, anyway, I'm just trying out Orange Bakery. And the next one from Rose Girls is Pumpkin Monster Cookies. I loved this one. It was a four out of five on throw. Also in my open concept, this one did really well. It was like a spicy pumpkin with sugar cookies. Really, really nice. Loved it. And then I've got three more empties from L3. So the first one is Cookies Under the Tree. It was a sample and I don't know the notes, but it was just like a Christmas tree basically and, and sugar cookie and I loved it. I melted it in my office and it did really, really well. It was very strong and I'd say it went for about four to six hours before I wanted to switch it out, but I loved this and if I ever see it offered again, I'd love to have it for next Christmas. Next, another sample from L3, 
strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and don't cross streams. This one was another one that I absolutely loved. It was very strong. I got the pumpkin pecan waffles the most, which I wasn't mad about, but I definitely got the strawberry pound cake. Is don't cross streams like the vanilla heavy one? I'm not sure, but this one was really good. It was a good performer for me. And then the last empty I have is from L3, Strawberry Pound Cake Pistachio Ice Cream White Elephant Exchange. This one, y'all, this one was so strong. I melted it in my open concept and it was very, very strong. Like it, it threw for forever. And my husband actually asked me to take it out because it was so strong. So um, I would say five out of five on throw for this one. And it wasn't my favorite pistachio. The ice cream, I think, was just a little too much for me. Maybe with the white elephant exchange too, and not enough of the pistachio. So um, I didn't hate it, but you know, I didn't, it wasn't my favorite either. So some other things that I didn't finish was, like I said, from Knowles Farm, this pistachio pudding cake. I'm hoping to finish this. There's only two more pieces of this snap bar, so can finish it in my office pretty easily, but this is just such a good one. I love Knowles Farm and I love pistachio pudding cake. Um, I have Moo Moo Track from Rose Girls that I tried and y'all, this is birthday cake, banana cream pie, fresh picked strawberries and marshmallow smoothie. This is, so many people love it, which is great. All I could smell was runty banana when I melted it. So um, if you guys have tried it, let me know your thoughts. I do not like banana. And it kind of smells like a strawberry banana smoothie to me on cold. It's not like, I mean, it's kind of runty. But like when I melted it, it was just like, ooh, banana. So this might not be for me. I also melted pistachio in the kitchen from Sassy Girl Aroma. I love this. Sweet creamy pistachio, marshmallow cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. This is a favorite. And y'all know I melted pistachio blend like at least once a week all year round and this one is so good her in the kitchen blends are just to die for so i melted that and super good performance lovely scent love this so much next up i have another walmart uh wax this is fresh cut frazier from better homes and gardens i melted this in the kitchen or no in the living room open concept and it threw really, really well. It just wasn't my favorite scent. It was very much citrusy. And I'm not a big fan of citrus with Christmas tree. So I kind of stopped it because it wasn't my favorite. But it threw really well. Next, I have strawberry pound cake from the pharmacist's daughter. This um, it was poured on June 1st of 21. And so it didn't have a soup. I would say a three out of five on scent throw. It smelled really good, but it wasn't very strong. So um, I love the way it smells. It just could be too because it's a year and a half old. So I'll definitely try this next in my office where it's kind of a smaller, more enclosed space and hopefully get better luck with it. Next up, we have Dream Weaver from L3. This is lavender cream sugar cookie dough bread. I melted this in my bedroom. For night, I like lavender bakery at night to help like kind of calm and soothe. And I really loved it. It smells so good. I actually think I ordered another one in my last order from L3, which has been a minute ago. But this is a really, really good lavender bakery, and it smelled so good in my bedroom. Did really well. Next, I actually melted this one today. This is Bodacious Bowser from Rose Girls, and I did it in my open concept. This is Dunk My Donut Monster Cookie Waffle Cone and Green Apple. This is probably like a 3, 4, 3.5 out of 5 on throw. And not my favorite scent, but I just wanted to try it because I was really um, wanting to try the green apple note. And that's actually what I smelled the most. And my son really enjoyed this one as well, I think, just because it said Bowser in the name. But yeah, this, um, if you like this scent, it was a really good performer for me in my open concept. So very strong. And then the last thing that I melted is a favorite. This is Bob Jones and I melted it in my room, my kitchen, and my bedroom, my kitchen, and my office. And this is like, I think probably my favorite scent from Sassy Girl. Oh, it's so hard to like just pick one, but 
you guys, this is brown sugar, zucchini bread, and Old Town Bake Shop, and it is just, it smells so, so good on cold, but on warm, it's probably a four out of five, because it's not like super like in your face, but just because these notes, zucchini bread, brown sugar, and Old Town Bake Shop, it's like, it's just, it's perfection. It's rich and creamy bakery. Oh my gosh, I could smell this for like ever. It smells so good. So that's the last thing that I melted. Hope you guys enjoyed my what I've been melting, empties and unempties. I haven't filmed one of these in so long, so I hope to get better um, this year, 2023. So hopefully I'll be more consistent. Hopefully we won't be sick and I'll be able to smell and, and melt and um, have more of, the, of this kind of content for you guys. But... Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you're melting this week. And if you've melted any of these and what your experience was, let me know down below. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.